Blissful morning everyone, mga ka-legacy. Ang topic natin ngayon ay Chapter 18, Roger and Michelle, Cognitive Social Learning Theory. Let me share my screen. So number one, the theories of Roger and Michelle are blank, directed, meaning they are see, they see people as being guided by the their expectations of the future. So the correct answer is goal. Number two, as an interactionist, Rather believes that a combination of environmental and blank variables are responsible for behavior. So number two, personal. Number three, any condition that moves a person toward a blank defines Rother's empirical law of effect. Number three, goal. Number four, behavior blank refers to the likelihood that a given behavior will occur in a particular situation. So number four, potential. Number five, people's expectation of being reinforced is called their lack. Expectancy. Number six, behavior potential is a function of both blank value and expectancy. So number six, reinforcement. Number seven, external blank includes events, conditions, or actions that are culture values. So number seven, reinforcement. Number eight, Rather sees people as blank animals whose perceptions of events are more important than the events themselves. So number eight, cognitive. Number nine, the need to be free of the domination of others is called blank. Number nine, independence. Number ten, need blank refers to the possible occurrence of a set of functionally related behaviors directed toward the satisfaction of the same or similar goals. So number 10, potential. Number 11, internal control of reinforcement is a blank expectancy. Number 11, generalized. Number 12, Rotter sees blank behavior as those actions that fail to move a person closer to a desired goal. So number 12, maladaptive. Number 13, Michelle proposed a blank view of personal dispositions that suggests that behavior is caused by people's perception of themselves in a particular situation. Number 13, conditional. Number 14, the blank paradox refers to the observation that many people believe that behavior is stable from one situation to another despite evidence that it is not. Consistency. Number 15, Michelle and Shoda's cognitive blank personality system suggests that behavior reflects stable patterns of variation. Number 15, affective. Number 16, intelligence is a blank variable and may be one reason why traits are as consistent as they are. Number 16, competency. Number 17, our blank strategies enable us to categorize information from external stimuli. Number 17, encoding. Number 18, Michelle's cognitive affective personality system suggests that behavior is largely shaped by an interaction of blank personality traits and the situation. So 18 is stable. Number 19, behavior blank expectancies refers to people's guesses about the results of their behavior. So 19, outcome. Number 20, Rother's concept of blank of control is one of the most frequently researched areas in psychology. Number 20, locks. So let's go now to true or false. So number one, Rother's theory is future-oriented. That is, it allows for a person's expectations of future events. So number one, true. Number two, Rother's believes that personality is shaped solely by one's environment. Number two, false. Number three, Rother believes the individual is socially responsible for behavior. Number three, false. Number four, Rother assumes that motivation is called directed. Number four, true. Number five, while still an adolescent, Rother was influenced by the writings of Alfred Adler. So number five is true. Number six, Behavior potential and expectancy are variables used in predicting general behaviors. So number six, false. Number seven, freedom of movement is analogous to the concept of expectancy. Number seven, false. Number eight, 
According to Rother, people's psychological situation is more important than their physical environment. Number eight, true. Number nine, one of the components of Rother's general prediction formula is freedom of movement. Number nine, true. Number ten, Rother's internal external control scale classifies people into two distinct groups. So number ten, false. Number 11, interna interpersonal trust refers to the belief that people are naturally good. So number 11, false. Number 12, a person who scores high on the interpersonal trust scale is likely to believe that most people can be counted on to do what they say they will do. So number 12, two. Number 13, rather believes that maladaptive behavior inevitably, inevitably, arises from the combination of high need value and low freedom movement. False. Number 14. Personality theory of Michelle and Shoda is called behavioral social learning theory. False. Number 15. Michelle's theory of personality shows the influence of both Bandura and Dorotter. 15. True. Number 16. Michelle was born in Vienna at a time when Carl Jung was living there. So, 16 false. Number 17, Michelle believes that behavior is much more consistent than most psychologists assume. False. Number 18, during the late 1920s, Hart, Shom, and May founded school children who were honest in one situation were also honest in other situations. Number 18, false. Number 19, Michelle holds that people have no consistent traits or disposition. False. Number 20, Michelle and Shoda argue that inconsistencies in the people's behavior are due solely to the situation. False. Let's go now to multiple choice. Number one, Rother's theory assumes that letter B, motivation is goal-directed. Number two, an event or condition that moves a person toward a goal would express Rother's concept of letter E, the empirical law of effect. Number three, which of these is not one of Rother's four variables of predictions? So number, so letter B, locus of control. Number four, behavior or potential in any situation is a function of reinforcement value and letter C, expectancy. Number five, behavioral potential can be predicted when reinforcement value is called constant and letter B, expectancy varies. Number six, Rother called the person's subjective perception of the value of an event, letter D, negative, uh, internal reinforcement. Number seven, Rother's basic prediction formula states that behavior potential is a function of a person's expectancy that behavior will be followed by reinforcement in a particular situation and by letter C, reinforcement value. Number eight, the basic prediction formula in, is most useful for making specific predictions. To make more generalized predictions, rather introduce the concept of letter number eight, letter A, needs. Number nine, which of these is not included among Rother's list of needs? So number nine, C, esteem. Number 10, the specific concept of expectancy is analogous to this term in the general prediction formula. So number 10, letter C, freedom of movement. Number 11, the extent to which a person refers, prefers one set of reinforcements to another is called number 11, C, the need value. Number 12, in general prediction formula, need potential is a function of freedom of letter D, need value. 13, the internal-external control scale measures that will be generalized expectancies. 14, the interpersonal trust scales measures, letter D, believe that one can rely on other people. 15, low freedom of movement and high need value are, are most likely to produce, letter C, conflict. 16, compared with Bandura and Rother, Walter Michel placed more emphasis on Letter E, delay of gratification. 16. Michelle's consistency paradox states that letter D, most people regard behavior as relatively consistent, whereas empirical evidence suggests that it's quite variable. 9. 18. Michelle assumed that behavior, letter B, is shaped by the interaction of person variables and situation variables. Number 19. 
Michelle and Schroeder's system that accounts for variability across situations as well as stability of behavior within the person is called a 19b cognitive affective personality system. 20. Michelle and Shoda use the term behavioral signature of personality to refer to letter A, a person's pattern or variability of behavior. 21. Which of these is not one of Michelle's person variables? Letter A, loss of control. 22. Michelle and Moore. Michelle and Moore found that children who were encouraged to imagine real rewards while viewing pictures of rewards, letter B, could not wait as long as for the reward as children who were exposed to pictures of rewards. 23. Rother's concept of humanity assumes that, letter A, people are motivated by their view of events more than by the events themselves. 24. Michelle's cognitive active personality system conceptualizes humans as Letter B, being goal-directed and active, not possibly reactive. So for the short answer for your essay, number one, explain the difference between Rother's concepts of need potential and behavior potential. Letter number two, name and briefly discuss Rother's two most famous scales for measuring generalized expectancies. Number three, state Rother's goal of therapy and name two ways of achieving these goals. Number four, name and briefly define the five cognitive affective units suggested by Michelle. And number five, define the consistency paradox. So these are the answer keys. There you go. There you have it. Thank you so much and kindly follow me on all my social media platforms and let's go to 1000. <laughs> Thank you so much. Para mga pamigay na tayong Bye!